importance of core funding. The importance of core funding. That core support the value of long-term flexible funding. I would say the most important lesson out of the Think Tank initiative over the last 10 years is that left to their own devices, institutions use core support well. They use it to invest in the capacity of their scholars. They use it to maintain independence of their research agenda. They use it to invest in the beyond research sides of their institutions, communications, outreach, engagement with policymakers. And they use it to think about the positioning of their institution so that they can have more influence. Core support works, and the vast majority of institutions really have used it well. Uh, core funding is important because it helps to strengthen institutions. It has helped them think through their strategies, so organizational strategies. It's not just um, about working on one particular project or, or a bunch of projects, but actually thinking through where it is that they can make the biggest impact given the organizational structure, their vision and their mandate, and investing in those resources required to make that biggest impact. We have innumerable stories of how the think tanks that we worked with, by using the core flexible funding, have been able to identify problems, undertake research, position themselves as key influencers in, on those issues, and uh, have have gone on to generate uh, policy uh, options and in many cases have those policy options adopted by government and are now even involved in, in helping with the implementation and monitoring of those things. Beyond the importance of core funding, a big lesson coming out of TTI is funders should also think about how they encourage think tanks uh, in the Global South to work together in platforms and networks because I think you get a lot of uh, value when these institutions work together. They can share lessons on what works in their countries and, and build off of that knowledge. So I think another thing is, is that networking and platforming. Capacity building support really does need to be targeted to the needs of those organizations. And so, you know, when you're working with a completely different diverse mix of stakeholders, different you know, economic, social, policy, research questions, making sure that you have that capacity support that's kind of meeting their needs based on an assessment has been a really important lesson from the, from the program. I think the donors need to be patient to know that evidence-informed policy making doesn't really start bringing impact after one or two years. It takes time to do that and it takes institutional building to do that. By empowering the grantee, you build a more, I would say, uh, sustainable and trustworthy relationship and that is actually the best way of achieving that impact that we are all aiming for. Think Tank Initiative has been a very bold experiment. Testimony to the foresight of the funders on how they could foresee the importance of strengthening think tanks in order to strengthen the knowledge ecosystem, which in turn uh, would strengthen good quality public policy making in developing countries. These things take time. These things don't happen overnight. But with time and with patience, Think Tank Initiative has now demonstrated effectively uh, and with a lot of evidence that core support, stable support, assured funding, even if it's a small amount of the budgets of think tanks, matters. Matters a lot. Now that TTI is ending, I would encourage other donors to consider how to come and build on the foundation TTI has created so that the role of think tanks in development processes can continue.